Hey, it's Jeremiah Taylor, Chief Real Estate Officer here at Ojo and Mabuto. And I want to talk to you today about our new seven-day touring agreement. Now, before we get started, let's clear this up. We know your broker, your association, your state, your company may have a different version of the agreement than the one that we're using, and that is okay. It's totally fine. The seven-day touring agreement is not meant to replace, augment, change, modify anything that is done in your local association. It's simply meant to help the customer understand and get used to this new expectation that they're going to need to sign some sort of disclosure or form to start touring properties with an agent across the country, okay? So here's what will be happening in the near future. Anytime a buyer gets introduced to an agent at Ojo, as we make that introduction, the CER is going to say, hey, now I just want to make sure that you check your email. We're going to send you an email with some more information on touring properties with the agent that we are connecting you to. They're not going to try and explain the agreement over the phone. They're not going to try and you know tell them commission rates or anything else in the same way that you shouldn't. They're simply going to say, check your email. And now in that email, it has a really easy to follow one click kind of step through, hey, here's a seven-day touring agreement. It's non-binding. You're not hiring the agent as your buyer's broker. You're simply agreeing that you're going to go to our homes with them for no cost. Now, if you do decide to hire the agent as your buyer's broker, there is going to be a separate agreement that you're going to need to sign with them where you will discuss their commission rates with them. That's all the seven-day touring agreement says. It's very simple very easy. Now, we know some number of customers will click through that. They'll click it. They'll sign it. If they do, you're going to get a signed copy. It'll come to you in your email. If they don't, you won't get a signed copy and it won't come to you in your email. And so that's where you'll want to take whatever forms your broker, whatever process your broker uses or your association or your company uses and take those to that showing and, and follow the rules and get your agreement signed or get your disclosure signed, depending on what state you're in. And then continue to work with that buyer, show them all the value that you provide as an agent and help them find the new place to call home. So we will continue to iterate. We'll continue to help consumers and agents understand this new world that we're moving into. And we will continue to drive success and help thousands of people buy and sell real estate across North America. Thank you so much for your partnership. And we look forward to continuing to partner with you.